Do you ever see someone wearing glasses and wonder how the world looks to them when they aren't wearing them? Well, here's how I see the world. I have farsightedness, which means I can see things farther away just fine, but anything that's close to me is blurry, unless I wear my prescription glasses. For people who have nearsightedness, it's the opposite. Farsightedness is a pretty common condition that can vary from person to person. For some people, it can be mild, and for others, it can be more severe. It can be influenced by environmental factors or inherited through family. If you want to know what causes farsightedness from a biological perspective, here's a quick breakdown from an orthoptist. So there's two primary focusing components of the eye. There's the cornea, which is the clear front surface of the eye. It's dome-shaped and similar to the windshield in your car. And then there's the lens, which is a clear structure behind the iris, the colored part of your eye, where near the pupil is. Both of these structures are involved in making a clear, precise image on the back of your retina, which is in the back of your eye. If this uh, image is not in a proper place, it, it can cause a blurry image to form, which can be easily corrected with a pair of glasses. Beyond blurry vision, farsightedness can cause eye strain, aching, or a burning sensation. If you experience these symptoms, it's important to see an ophthalmologist. Farsightedness can come with safety risks. If your vision isn't corrected, activities like driving or operating heavy machinery can become dangerous. It can also impact your lifestyle because not being able to see well can affect your daily tasks and enjoyment. So how is farsightedness treated? Well, you can wear prescription glasses like I do, or contact lenses, or get corrective surgery. But the important thing is to get regular eye exams if you have any vision difficulties or eye health issues. Regular eye exams are crucial, even for healthy adults who don't notice any issues. Young people should get annual eye exams from 6 months to 18 years old, and exams every 2 years from 19 and older. If you notice any changes in your vision or have health conditions like diabetes, it's important to see an eye doctor more frequently. Keep in mind that if your vision suddenly becomes blurry, see a healthcare professional right away. Blurred vision can indicate more serious health issues. Some children with farsightedness may develop what's called an eye turn, which can be addressed with glasses. In some cases, Eye turns can cause a reduction in the visual development in one eye, which is referred to as amblyopia. Similarly, if a child doesn't have the proper prescription, it can prevent proper visual development, which can impact their vision for the rest of their life. Children might also complain of headaches, blurred vision, or they might not show much interest in visual tasks. So it's really important that children have their vision checked starting at six months and every year after that until they're 19, at which point it's fine to get their vision checked every two years. With all that said, in terms of my day-to-day -day life, I just have to wear glasses. Pretty easy. So I encourage you to book an eye exam to make sure your eyes are in good health. And no, carrots won't give you 20-20 vision if you already have poor eyesight, but they do contain lots of nutrients that help with overall eye health. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our channel for more information on various health conditions.